Hey everybody, Matt here. Happy holidays. So, I was in the community the other day and I saw somebody saying something about uh, wanting some sort of solution for scheduled reminders, but they didn't want to do it themselves. They didn't want to build it. I'm like, it'd be pretty easy to build. So I did. It's really simple actually. So let me show you what I did. Inside here, uh, this is the actual uh, sample app that I've created, a link in the description below. Um, so there's three tables. You can ignore the guide table because that's literally just kind of the stuff that I'm going to go over right now. There's a little more inside there, but it's inside the, the app so that you can peruse it at your, your own speed. Um, so the actual things that are this, that make up this app is there's a contacts table, which as you guessed, it is basically just a contacts table. I put this in here because generally speaking, um, when you create your own reminder system inside your app, you're probably going to have a user's table already. And so you're going to want to pull phone numbers or emails from that table. And so that's why I included a contacts table to demonstrate how you can do that. It's pretty simple. It just has a name, phone, email, and then which one phone or email that that person pre prefers. Uh, the real meat and potatoes is here in the reminders table. So if I show you the reminders here, so you select what type of reminder this is, what time it should go out, you enter a title, and then there's like the, the body, the text, the main part of the reminder. You can include a deep link, just a URL. Um, and then, all right, so there's a couple of drop downs in here. So if I come down here and show you, so we have reminder type recipients. So this is a list of all of the contacts that have this, the preferred contact method that you've selected. You're making an email. So these are all the people that prefer email as their contact. That's the first one, that first list. The second one is everybody else. So even if you need to send an email out to like everybody, not just the people that prefer email, you can do it. And then is it active or not? The other side of this, so this has all the details specific to the reminder. The other side of this is the actual system that sends the reminder out. So if we go to behavior and reports, you can see there's two of them here. There's an email and a text. Um, and they're all pretty, pretty standard, pretty simple. So it's a daily set at a time. So what I've done is I've matched the time to my email time here, noon to noon. Uh, so it's on the reminders table for each row. And then the condition is, is it an email? Because this is the email one. Is it at noon? So it only does the ones that are set to noon. And is it active? True. So if all of those are equal true, if all of those are a positive, then it does this. It sends out the reminder. So this is where with some little fanciness, uh, I describe it inside the guide table if you want to know how it's done. And then the actual details of your reminder. So you have like the subject header and then the reminder and if you put the link, that's it. It's pretty simple to include things like this inside your app. It's really all just a matter of conforming this. And then if you wanted to include a, uh, um, a template, you know, like to make it look fancy and nice, you could totally do that. The uh, phone is the exact same type of thing. It's all set up the exact same way. The conditions are just a little different, right? Is this a phone reminder? And is, does it match the same time? And then it just sends the text. So I just used the AppSheet default SMS. I didn't integrate with Twilio. However, integrating your own Twilio account with AppSheet and, and making this work through that is super, super easy. Maybe in the future, I'll make a video on how to do it. But you can see this is essentially set up the same way. We've got, we're pulling the contact phone. We have all of the, the, the header and the, the text, same thing. So it's pretty simple to do stuff like this. It's not really that hard. And uh, if you don't wanna do it, you just need a solution that you can like just throw some stuff in and it will start sending emails and text messages to people. Here you go. Happy holidays, everybody. See you in the community.